am going to attempt to fix the handle on my refrigerator. And when I got it, um, it was basically the handle was popping off. It kept falling off. And what it is is that this little bit here, I think they call it an end stop or something like that, is broken. And there's like a little pin that goes up in here. And it's not being held anymore because this is cracked and broken. So I actually looked up those parts and I ordered new ones. I shall show it to you. There's another little piece right here. What's it called? It's called a end cap black stop catch. Sure. Let's go with that. And then the little tiny spring that will actually make the door work. Here's the door handle. So it's just going to go right back in here. And that will allow us to be able to open and close the door. Right now you can see there is no door handle and I have to just push on this with my thumb to pop it open. Uh, for later date, ooh, I forgot to put Vaseline there. For later date, I will be measuring the gasket um, to replace it. I put Vaseline to try to help it close, but now I just kind of made a mess out of that. I will be measuring the gasket and getting a custom replacement because they don't make these gaskets anymore for this model of fridge. Oh well, we'll do that in another video. I'm not going to film the whole process of me fixing it, but I will show it to you when it's finished. I just turned the AC on for the first time in my RV and it is already super cool. It's been going for not even a minute yet and I can feel the cool air. It's cooler than the AC in my own house. It's set to the lowest temperature and it feels so cool. Oh, it feels so good. That's so exciting to know I have an AC that works. I'm not gonna suffer in the summer. I don't even really need it that much right now. I just wanted to turn it on and test it out. It's a little bit uh, muggy in here at the moment because it has been warm today. But yay, my AC works. So I've taken this little bar out uh, from here. It wasn't here holding all this together. This is the piece that needs to be replaced. It's kind of dirty. I wiped it all down with disinfectant wipe which you can see what that crack is. So now I just have to unscrew it here and put the new piece in. Okay, so I've been out here for probably an hour longer than it should have taken me. And it was all because I bought an extra piece that I didn't need. See this little spring? I don't actually have any instructions on how to replace all this stuff. But when I went to go buy the part, I saw lots of comments where people were like, oh, spring wasn't included, spring wasn't included. Like, as though they needed the spring, so I'm like, oh, I bought the spring. Well, come to find out, I don't think I actually needed it. I think the spring just goes on the bottom, and there was already a spring there. And so here I was trying to fit a spring somewhere where a spring doesn't belong. And so, of course, I was trying to force something in that just wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. <laughs> so I was out here for a really long time trying to figure it out, but I got it fixed. I did it. Took me way too long, but I did it. Let me show you. Here we go. Handle is done. And it opens flawlessly. And the cool thing is, is that because this is now properly latching, I'm looking again at the gasket, which was like, there was a huge gap before. Like, it was like this before. Now that it's actually properly latching, it actually is making quite a bit of contact there. I might not have to replace the gasket after all, which would be really good news. The next thing to do would be to actually turn the fridge back on and fire it back up and see how cool it gets and see if there's any, if any condensation forms or anything. Because if we get a lot of condensation or frosting on the cooling elements back here, then that's a good indication that the gasket isn't sealing properly. But we could give it a try and see. But it's starting to get kind of late, so I might not be out here a whole lot longer. Yeah, maybe that's still another project for another day. At least one good thing got done today. Fix the door handle. Woohoo! Took me longer than it should have, but live and learn. I feel like that's going to happen a lot with this RV. It's okay. It's a growing experience. It's all part of the fun.